Hello my friends, as I made my video covering where to find that holy grail beaker, another resource was highlighted that can be fairly annoying to gather in sufficient quantities, namely acid. This has been the case for several alphas, so even in the 1.0 release. Acid, as you will realize playing the game, is needed in a bunch of crafting, such as car batteries, not that we usually craft those, but more importantly, chemistry stations, learning elixirs, moonshine, recog drugs, vehicle mods such as the fuel saver and even wheels. Early game you might struggle to find enough for those vehicle mods and wheels, whereas mid game you need a bunch of them to make the chemistry stations, and after that to keep pumping out drugs in your basement lab. But they can be fairly elusive, so let's start with the obvious, traders, yes they do show up there, but the chance is fairly low, and would require a lot of traveling to multiple traders or, or and waiting for inventory resets. Next up, looting zombies. Acid does show up in all loot packs, whether it's yellow, blue or orange, but the chance is very low, so that means a lot of zombies to kill. How about looting in general? Acid shows up in general junk and working stiff loot, construction crates, utility carts. It shows up in vehicle related locations such as car and garage loot, though a much better place to look is sinks in the houses, which has a fairly good chance to uncover acid. And of course, chemical pals, which has the highest chance. The problem with those, however, is that locating and accessing them in quantities is tedious and fairly random. Early game, it's very beneficial to go through houses, hit the garage for any car and car related loot, then the kitchen for that sink. As a bonus, you might find an early game wrench as well. The best and most consistent way to locate asset is, however, locked behind a very specific perk, which is in turn unlocked by a book Wasteland Treasures 3, which has the chance to recover acid from cars, medical equipment and acid barrels. If you do find this book, whether it's loot or the trader, buy it and read it, as finding cars to scrap is easy and normally without much danger. Cars give a bunch of other worthwhile loot and scrapping resources, so I always make a point of taking them when I see them around. With that book read, and even being on a mini bike, finding a bunch of cars to scrap is really easy. A final mention, that while the book also helps getting acid from those acid barrels, it has to be the green ones, not the red ones which are plentiful, the green ones are not easy to find. If you do know of a specific PUI or location that has them, do tell us in the comment section. So if you have nothing better to do, go loot and scrap cars after reading the book, and while you won't be swimming in acid, which is probably good, it should yield sufficient to craft. Take care survivor, wear that seatbelt.